we did, I mentioned about what a relationship is. Any subset of the product set A cross B is said to be in relation. So if you have A1, A2, B. So the various A cross B is 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 2C, 3A, 3B, 3C. These are all. This is in this whole thing is A cross B. So if you take any subset of this, including this whole set, you could take X, Y or Z, which could be say 1 comma C and say 3 comma A and 2 comma C and 3 comma C. This is a subset of this A cross B. Then we say this way and we say X and Y relation from A to B. We can even write that X is a relation from A to B. Similarly, y is such that it is a relation from A to B. We put this in this form. From A to B, wherein, which means that in every ordered pair, the first element comes from A and the second element comes from B. So, any subset of A cross B is called a relationship from A to B. Now, among these, any subset of the product set A cross B is said to be function if no different ordered pair has the same first element. So, for example, suppose you have a relationship X which is 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4. Now, this remains just a relationship because the first element in each ordered pair is the same. So, even if two of them have the same first element in the ordered pair then it is not a function so this is only not a this is not a function it is only a relationship that you have over here so for example this is a function this is a function this is not a function it is only a relationship this is a function this is not a function it's only a relationship this is a function so that's what it means <coughs> No two different ordered pairs should have the same first element. Now, if you look at these two ordered pairs in this relationship, if you see 1A, 1B, the first element is the same. It is not a relationship. Similarly, 1C, 4B, it is. Similarly, 5A, 5B is not a function because of first element. So, if you, it's like you're putting 5 here and you have A and B here. This is, this cannot be a function. 1 element from the first cannot be related to two different elements and it is just a relationship not a function. So to brush up whenever suppose there are two sets A and B you take A cross B you got various possibilities so any subset of A cross B is going to be called a relationship and among these various subsets which are relationship those ones which have ordered pairs such that no two ordered pairs have the same first element, they are called functions. So as I told over here, 1a, 2b is a function, 1c, 3b because the first elements are different. The second elements can be the same. For example, <clears throat> 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1. Suppose you have something like this. This is a function because two different elements from a have the same element in B. This is possible. That, but 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, then it is only a relationship. It is not a function. So this is what is a basic understanding of a function. Now let us take some examples. For example, A is x comma y comma z, B is P comma Q comma R comma. Which of the relationship on A to B are functions? Now let us see here. N comma P, x comma Q, y comma R, z comma S. So, if you look at it, each of the first element is here NP. Now, this cannot be a function because if you look at it, there is no N in either of them. So, this cannot be a function. This is neither a function nor a relationship. Now, what about this X comma S, Y comma S, Z comma S. That is, the first elements are different and they are from A. The second elements are the same, they are from B, so which is fine, this is a function. Now here what do you have, y comma p, y comma q. Two different ordered pairs have the same first element from A, so this is not a function. This is just a relationship. 
then you have x comma p and you have y comma r and z comma s so this is also a function so among these b and d both of them are functions simply because the first first of all two things you need to check do the first elements belong to the first set that is a second in each of these, the first elements belong to set A. That is the first thing we check. Because that will give you A cross B. Then you check, are the first elements different? Totally different. No two ordered pairs should have the same first element. These two conditions are being satisfied only by B and D. Hence, among these B and D, both of them are functions. C is a relationship, A cannot even be called a relationship because the element N does not belong to either of the sets because it is not even A cross B. Right. Okay, further. <coughs> you have the next one is X, Y, W, Z. Y is 1, 2, 3, 4. This of course should be capital Y. It should be capital Y is 1, 2, 3, 4. H is X, comma 1. So, are the first elements uh, belonging to this? Yes, the second elements belong. Then we check whether any two of the ordered pairs have the same first element. Yes, this and this have the same first element. So, it is definitely not a function. So, let us check. It is a relationship because all the first elements in each ordered pair belongs to x and the second element belong to y. So, it's definitely these are all subsets of X, H is a subset of X cross Y. So, all these are relationships. But it's not a function. H is a function from X to Y. No. H is not a function from X to Y. Yes, it's true. H is a relation from Y to X. No. In that case, the elements of Y would have been featuring first in each ordered pair. None of the above me. Yes, it is H is not a function from X to Y. Yes, we are right there. Okay. Then, what do you mean by F of minus 1, etc.? Now, when you have a function F of X is 1 upon Y minus X, it means that X attains various values. You can put in various values. Accordingly, F of that particular function would change. The function would remain the same, but the value of the function would change. So, F of minus 1 would mean F of minus 1 is the function is 1 upon 1 minus X. Wherever there is X, you put in minus 1. So, it's 1 upon 1 plus 1, which is half. So, it's a simple concept given a particular function f of x is 1 upon 1 minus x, f of 1 minus 1 would be, suppose it's told what is f of minus 2, it will be 1 upon 1 minus minus 2. So, this turns out to be, uh, so it's half. Then, g of x is x minus 1 divided by x, so g of minus half, what do we have? So, g of minus half is x minus 1, that is, you have minus half replacing x upon minus half. This turns out to be minus 3 by 2 into 2 upon minus 1. This turns out to be 3. So, g of minus half is 3. So, hence we have half and 3 as the solutions and our answer is tidy with what has been given. Okay, furthermore. So now we have this thing, the range of the function f of x is log of 1 plus x to the base 10 for the domain of real values. As I told earlier, domain is the various values of x that we will substitute right from 0 to 9. So the smallest value that x could attain would be 0 and the biggest value would be 9. So accordingly, what would f of x turn to? So, the f of x in that case would be log of 1 plus 0 to the base 10. Log 1 to any base is 0. So, it's actually going to be log 1 to the base 10. And this would become log of 1 plus 9, 10 to the base 10, which is 1. That means 
if you see the range, all the other values between 0 and 1. So the range is going to be between 0 and 1. So from 0 to 1. So the range of the function is going to be 0, 1. So this will be the range of range, not the domain. Then what is the range that is covered in this? It will be 0, 1. Yes, we do have it that way. All right. Then... <coughs> f of x is x plus 3, g of x is x square. So, simple. We have been asked to find what is f of x into g of x. So, f of x into g of x will obviously be x plus 3 into x square, which will turn out to be x cube plus 3x square. So, we have x cube plus 3x square as the right answer. Yes, we do have it that. 